to tell you about Loma Linda University, where I am from. That university has graduated more physicians than any medical school on the whole west coast of the United States. Washington State, Oregon State, and all the medical schools in California. And if you look at all their graduates, their graduates, there are more of them than any school west of the Mississippi River. So they have graduated a lot of people. They are known for some very important things. They were the first ones to do infant heart transplants. They were very successful. Now many of them are surviving, otherwise would not have survived because they were born with this bad heart. The second thing is the proton therapy. They were the first ones to start a hospital which treated people routinely with proton therapy. They did it mostly for prostate cancers, but the first patient they had was a lady with melanoma of the eye. Usually we take the eye out because it's going to metastasize to the brain and kill them. This lady had proton therapy. As far as I know, she's still alive. She reads, still has her eyes, no glasses. She's in good shape and no cancer. And I think of the man who did the first uh, infant heart transplant. He developed cancer in the back of his tongue. He was treated with proton therapy, Dr. Bailey, treated with proton therapy, and is gone. He's cured. So that proton therapy is really worthwhile. But more than the proton therapy, more than the infant heart transplant, what is the most exciting thing that Loma Linda University has done has studied the lifestyle of Seventh-day Adventists. They've got millions of dollars from the government to show how good that lifestyle is. The men are living longer, the women are living longer if they're vegetarians. They've discovered that. And since they do not drink, do not smoke, they're an ideal group to study. So that if there are differences in, within the group, the differences are based on diet. Half of them are vegetarians, half of them are not. So they can tell big differences. They were the first ones to find out that a handful of nuts every day will lower your heart attack risk about in half. The best nut was the walnut, the next best was the almonds, but they're all good except for the coconut. They were the ones who discovered that five cups of water, one and a quarter liter of water a day, compared to half a liter of water a day, you would lower your heart attack and stroke risk about half. They have done thousands of things like this, and that's why the government is continuing to give them millions of dollars to do the research. Yes, Loma Linda University is known because of the Blue Zone. Some people from the National Geographic magazine, they studied all around the world, looked at the whole map, and encircled all their areas in blue, those people that live the longest. The only place in the United States that they circled was Loma Linda. That's because the people who live so long here, Dr. Warham was 95 years of age, still doing heart surgery. They're surprised they never asked me any questions. I was too young. But there, Dr. Warham, he was 95. And they asked him questions, you see. But it's true, we live longest. But this group, even though there are other groups live a long time, this is the only group that has been thoroughly studied they know why they're living longer. This vegetarian business, half of them are vegetarian, and the vegetarian business is what really helps them to live much longer. Just recently, an organization examined the graduates from many, many schools, and here's the question they're asking. Do you feel that you are doing something that's helping to better the world? Lowell and the University, what? All of their graduates feel they're really doing something to help the world. Well, actually, that's what we're developed for, is to help people in the world. And this study showed that Loma Linda is achieving, is achieving its goal and having graduates who are helping the world.